Hi guys, so I've not done a video like this before uh, and I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing. Um, this arrived today from Australia uh, from a friend of mine over there called Kieran um, who sent me this. Uh, but yes, arrived uh, from Australia today. Um, we'll get it opened up and we can have a look at what uh, Kieran has uh, put together for me. I've uh, bought a job lot of bits and pieces in Australia. He's put some bits and pieces together for, for me from a big uh, job lot, uh, created lot of webbing um, web equipment that he got and sent it all over to me in, in one C-mail package so it's very good of him to do that uh, using a number 9 bayonet to open it up here which the reason for that will be made clear um, in just a minute let's open here what I'll probably do is come on There's no edge on this bayonet that's the problem um, <clears throat> so first of all this should be a copy of Pix uh, magazine uh, from 1968 to go in with my Australian uh, Vietnam kit. Then he's very kindly put together some uh, Australian polys from that period, polyester uh, uniform, which we can see. Well, that's the laundry tag there. Is there a tag for size and things? Uh, just a army number and name tag there. So there, they'll feature in a video in the future, most likely. Um, next in here, I think this is the, yes, this is the New Zealand uh, issue pixie shirt. So this is the second. What I'll do is I'll move, what am I doing? I'll move the box out of the way and get things out one by one. I'll say I've not done an unboxing video before, so. Uh, and I probably won't do many more, but uh, this was too good a lot to look at all together. So you can see there the label. Um, 1969. This is the New Zealand version uh, of the Australian uh, pixie shirt, which was their second version of jungle green uniform uh, with a closer cut, these angle pockets. The Australian version differs in having different buttons, more like the American uh, buttons, but this is a, a nice thing to have. These are quite unusual now, these shirts. So uh, let's move these bits over to one side. The reason for using the number nine bayonet will be made clear now. Um, Bryburn Trading, uh, frog, uh, a, a scabbard for the number nine bayonet. Um, there we go. Happy days. I bought the bayonet at Stonely at the start of the year uh, without the scabbard. Saw these were going for a good price in Australia, bought one, uh, and I've included it with the. Uh, Obviously, Kieran's included it with this package for me. I've sent it to him and he's sent it on to me to avoid the uh, the shipping cost of just sending it on its own. Uh, polyester shirt, uh, Vietnam era Australian polyester shirt, um, which Kieran's also put in there for me. Very good of him. Um, <clears throat> on to some of the bits here. Australian uh, SLR cleaning kit. He tapes open here. There's bits in there. That's again to go with the Aussie Vietnam era kit, and it made sense, as I say, these smaller items. Buy them all together. Kieran's very kindly put them together for me in one lot. A uh, couple of Indian made pouches, and these are nice, particularly this one. I've, I've mentioned in the video I did on Indian um, web equipment uh, that you have the various different types of Preston and things. This one's sort of got a round, round or shape on it, which is one I've not got in my collection. Uh, and this one here has the star, the star pattern. Just another nice pair of Indian made pouches. This is the, the second pattern and this is the first pattern. Obviously the second one having the drain holes in the bottom. Um, also, another couple of bits of web equipment, which are rather nice to have. A couple of Mark 1 pouches, which you can see by the height of the hooks on the back there. These are both rather nice. If you can see the date there, Miko 1938, and the other one is, is as well. So, very nice to have. Um, these are unusual to find. These came in a big job lot um, of, of web equipment that uh, Kieran bought, as I understand it. And as I, if the story I, I understand from him is correct, it had been bought to be burnt out for the brasses, uh, which was a practice that was done in the UK until, well, until Militaria became a thing really, but apparently it's still happening in Australia. And these are a lovely addition to the collection, both in really nice condition uh, for their age. Um, and it's unusual to find 1938 dated 
can only do 7 pattern web equipment, so they're very nice to have. A um, couple of tins of Australian Department of Defence foot powder, uh, obviously Vietnam era. Uh, it's like before, I think, the gold tins. I'm not sure quite when they came into use and when the green came into use. It's something I need to uh, investigate, but uh, as you can see, different uh, method of opening at the top there. It's nice to have for the small kit, from the small kit point of view. And now we get onto more Australian Vietnam era stuff. Uh, another, um, this was a job lot I bought off uh, Gumtree and had shipped to Kieran and he's then had shipped onto me. It's uh, another, another um, set of suspenders, Australian made suspenders and quite a few, uh, quite a few, some of them very ropey, but nevertheless, quite a few um, Australian SLR pouches. which I imagine some of these will probably be candleized for bits to restore the other ones. Um, yeah, that's not a bad one. Some of them have the stiffening and things removed from them, but they were a job lot. So for the other bits I wanted, <laughs> I'm going into the uh, Australian Vietnam uh, kit market, I guess, with those. I might sell some on. Um, a couple of the post-war Australian water bottle carriers, uh, canteen carriers, or some people say they're very late war. My understanding is the post-war, um, they'll most likely be moved on, I think. Uh, they were just part of the job lot. Um, and a sling, uh, which is going to go, well, yeah, it'll be part of the, the Vietnam era stuff. Um, might be a bit short, actually, possibly. Measure that, I'm not sure if that might be for for a rifle, not for something short, anyway. Um, and that's everything, so there we go. Uh, slight departure from my normal style of videos, but just wanted to run through that stuff. Uh, seeing as Kieran was kind enough to send it all over, I thought this was a, a, a good way of showing it all arrived safely, and B, might be of interest to some of you, so I hope you found that interesting. And until next time, bye for now.